What's up, everybody? It's Malay90 here. Um, today, we're going to play the St. Louis, which, as you notice, I have a big smile on my face because this ship is definitely one of my favorites in the game. It's a Tier 3 USA cruiser, just a tank of a ship, an amazing ship, in my opinion. Um, I'm just super excited about playing it, and I just wanted... I know I said this in one of my other videos, but I just wanted to thank everybody that's taken the time out of their day. Um, and the millions of kind of videos that are out there on the internet and everything is just anybody that's really taken time out to watch one of my videos. You know, it just means the world to me. This has been a dream of mine. I've already covered this extensively before, but um, just thank you guys so much. So we're going to try to get into a quick match here. Um, I just want to show you guys, this is kind of a guide slash fun way to play the St. Louis. It's one of my, definitely one of my all time favorites. I play this game very frequently with other friends. So, um, this is just kind of a a um, homage to them, if you will, or a um, kind of a salute uh, to other people that I play with. You know who you are uh, in this game. So anyways, we're going to get into a uh, Tier 3 battle here, which is mostly, it actually is Tier 3s and Tier 2s. So we're on the higher end of the, the, higher end of the uh, scale here. We're playing on the map called Polar. It's a standard battle, so that means it's just... I mean, you just get right into it on this one. It's just a, you know, duke it out and and uh, fight for the other point, capture the other point, or kill all the other ships, or to get to a thousand points. So, um, one thing I wanted to talk about here is because I am trying to make a guide to the the St. Louis for individuals that tend to play it. Again, it's a lower tier ship, so you're not going to be on this ship very long. But one thing I want to kind of say is if you're playing higher tier battles <clears throat> and you're finding that you're losing a lot. Come back and play the low tier battles. It's 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 good practice. It's a lot of fun if you're trying to get better. And all, all around, nobody. I don't think everybody's as competitive as you get in the higher tier matches. Which there's nothing wrong with being competitive, but I think it can get um, a little challenging sometimes and a little frustrating. So. Battle starts. So, um, when we when I'm ta when I'm talking in these videos about um, getting citadel hits. First off, to get a Citadel hit, and this isn't 100% of the time, because you can get Citadel hits with high explosive rounds versus um, aircraft carriers. However, what I mean by getting Citadel hits is it depends on the ship, but when you're aiming right around here, right above the waterline, that sweet spot right there with AP, AP is designed to penetrate the armor and then explode inside, causing massive damage. Whereas the HE explodes on the outside or destroys in components. So that's what I mean by the difference between HP, HE and AP. HE is more reliant for consistent damage because you will catch you will catch ships on fire. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cure, or Mr. Destroyer. Appreciate it. Make sure you don't move at all either. Um, we'll just keep doing this for a while. Um, that may have been my bad, but I think he needs to change directions there just because the, the St. Louis is such a large ship. I will apologize just because I hate when people run in, in, even if it wasn't my fault for whatever reason. So, another thing to get into the habit of when you're playing at this tier is to mark targets out. Mark them out. It gives everybody an indication of what you're shooting at and just makes everybody's life a little easier here. That lock, that Samson is going to not die to the torpedo, just barely escape with his life, um, which could be ended. Could be ended here momentarily if our ships decide to focus fire. We're gonna shoot at the Bogatier. Try to catch some fires. And actually, if we're not careful, the Samson is gonna get right within torpedo range of us to take us out. So and that's what I mean. This map is so small that um, it's just you get right into it. You start pummeling each other. It's freaking awesome. So that's why I get excited when I play the St. Louis. It's just a, it's a fun ship to just get into. You're not worrying about managing your repair time or managing your, um, yeah, your repairs, and and um, you're generally not fighting aircraft carriers either. That guy just we just ran into each other again there. <laughs> but as you can see, the, the St. Louis right now, I mean, this ship is just pouring out the the, uh, the rounds here. It's just got so many guns. It's got guns at every angle, literally at every angle. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if the life rafts... I mean, this thing has so many guns that 
I'm surprised there's not guns on the life rafts that are on the on the boat. So, um, so I kind of want to switch over to AP here just to show you guys kind of what I'm talking about as far as the Citadel shots. And the Tenry was taking evasive action, which was really good on him part. But you can take advantage of the the very low reload time on the St. Louis. Um, get the Samson right in front of us here. Hopefully, we can dodge these torpedoes, or else we're going to put a very quick end to our to our fun here. So we have an ally launching torpedoes behind us, which this is just the nature of lower tier matches. Um, this is the kind of crap that happens, which is fine. It's fine. It's all good. I'm not worried about it. But we're tr see, our main focus right now is to dodge these torpedoes. Um, they're not doing a crap load of damage, but we definitely want to make sure we're not getting hit by too many here. We have some flooding that we have to repair. He's out. That was our ally that killed him, which we're really thankful for. Because that was going to turn very difficult. So the Bogatier is still focusing fire on us. We switch back over to HE here. Um, we're going to seek cover behind the island because we're actually down very low for hit points right now. And that's mainly because we've been taking kind of the... Uh, we've been kind of taking the reins as far as... Um, getting up close and doing dishing out the damage here. So we're going to give ourselves a little bit of a break and kind of hide behind the island and take pot shots at other ships while these guys try to um, duke it out here. So if you guys are tuned into this, make sure to leave a like or a comment or subscribe because I really, really appreciate it. And I will try to make more videos like this for people that are beginning to play World War because I think it's... It's important to learn on your own, but it's also nice to have people that have already made the same mistakes. <laughs> so again, we're just trying to the Tenryu and the um, the Tenryu and the St. Louis are trying to push us um, out from behind the island here because we're low on HP. So if we can get them to focus on us here, any any time they're distracted is is good. So. We're going to actually switch over to HE here on the South Carolina. The South Carolina is a tier three, tier three USA battleship. It's pretty weak. Um, it has really large citadels. And if you're trying to play the, <laughs> if you're trying to play the battleship line, it really makes you think about a battleship. You want to play battleships. And that's all I'm going to say about it. We know we can do more damage here with the uh, with the HE. So we do have the South Carolina's attention. The Emden right here. I'm not. I don't think it's armed with torpedoes. I'm pretty sure it's not. So he actually might be the first target. But as you can see, we're kind of moving in, um, using other, using utilizing other ships kind of as cover slash um, working in unison with them to take out enemies. So our goal is to just keep keep putting shots on this guy, you know, just so you guys kind of get a feel of what I'm kind of talking about here. So he's going to shoot at me. Luckily, those rounds pretty much now for the most part, but we're taking, we've taken a lot of damage. We're taking a lot of damage on this guy. Okay, so that guy's down. So we got a tier two, tier two Russian ship here, Diana. We're gonna get our rounds off, and then we're gonna switch over to AP. Um, the Diana is, as far as I understand, it's a tier two premium Russian ship. In my opinion, I mean, if you're in the business of collecting ships, then I guess it's cool to have. I've never played it myself, so I don't know how it performs. I don't think it's worth it, but maybe it is. I have to ask somebody who owns it. I'm not going to buy it. <laughs> However, I will take Citadel shots at it. I have no problem with doing that. Awesome. Yeah, that guy just... That was an, I don't even think that was a devastating strike. That's just how quickly those go down. So we do have the Dursky, Dursky in our base right now. Russian destroyer tier two or tier three. Um, we're gonna try to deter him. So we're 
as you can see, we're retreating back to our base, and that's because we only have about 3,000 hit points here. So we should try to focus on ships that are a little smaller class than us, let our other ships kind of try to take damage or, or make, up for, um, make up for what we're doing here. Because we did push in pretty aggressively, which I think somewhat paid off a little bit. Again, it's a team game though, so... So more than likely this guy, this, yep, yeah, so he's going to make it right around this island to put torpedo, attempt to put torpedoes on our South Carolina, which will give us prime opportunity to put some rounds into him here. So those are some pretty heavy hits to take uh, as a destroyer at this tier, just because the hit point pool is so low. So the way that we're, and, you know, to each their own, but the way we're, I want to talk about at least, is we're preserving our life here, um, is we were aggressive early, and the map is small enough that now we can move back a little bit and kind of get more comfortable um, and just kind of defend the base and let other ships kind of pick up that sort of, I don't want to say slack, but pick up that, uh, the extra workload here. Because we're so low that we're actually just going to be more of a nuisance getting ourselves killed versus just letting our other ships that are higher, higher HP um, take on the enemy. So. I just love, I love this ship, guys. It's a lot of fun. It's a, uh, um, it's just a really... Well armored, really cool ship. Um, I think this ship moves the s almost the slowest in the game, though, for cruisers. I'm pretty sure this is the slowest cruiser in the game, and it's actually more of a um, hybrid between a like a dreadnought and a cruiser, um, just because it's so freaking heavy. But, anyways. Um, I see our team's getting a little more aggressive here. We're actually not going to reveal ourselves just because um, we're not going to reveal ourselves right now because we're so, so low in HP that we're just going to cost points and we're going to get ourselves killed. And another point that I want to make is, yeah, sometimes it's fun to secure those kills and sometimes it's nice to secure those kills, but World of Warships, as you guys know, is a free-to-play game. Um, free-to-play. But you can use microtransactions. You can use real cash to buy things in the game. And this isn't about not doing that. It's about um, really comparing it. Because would I classify this game as, as pay to win? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's not pay to win. Um, there are ships that you can get that I've bought, like the Turbits, um, which is a tier 8 German battleship, which I love. Um, what else is there? The Molotov, which is another ship that I absolutely love. Those ships I bought. And the, the mentality behind it is, um, and other people go into way more detail than I do, but the mentality behind it is that, you know, really they didn't charge anything for this game. So the way I look at it is 20 or 30 bucks um, isn't a lot to spend on a game. Now, you take other games out there, which I won't mention, but other games that are completely framed spend thousands of dollars on that's that marketing sort of scheme but this game isn't like that this game is you can play as serious as you want or as you can play as casual as you want and if you want to spend money on it i don't discourage i don't encourage it but i think it's 100 percent legitimate to spend a couple bucks on it because i think it's worth it i think the developers put a lot of time and effort into it and i think they work really hard to um to keep patches going on a monthly basis um, to balance and to make the game fun for everybody. So um, my main point was just that to preserve um, to preserve your credits, preserve your, save your XP. Um, I'll cover this on a different topic, but um, really try to save your credits as much as possible. So anyways, guys, this is my guide to kind of the St. Louis. Um, you were kind of seeing where I was shooting, my positioning, take it for what you will. Um, I'm definitely going to play um, some more matches, but I've, you know, any sort of comments, anything you guys want to see, 
as far as ships to play or how I play other ships, I am more than willing to do. Um, other than that, just thanks so much for watching, guys, and we will catch you guys next time.